the biggest haters I see in France on YouTube is from the far right. The biggest trolls each time in our minorities are in the light. They talk about what they live. They are the oppressors. I would say, Julie, that we all see what we feel depending on where we see from. If you see from the center or from the left, you see them as the aggressor. If you see from the right, you can also see sometimes left people from the left as aggressors with all the things they want to force into people. So it really depends on how you see it. Like some people say that the walk culture is, is here to save humanity. And some other people are like, well, and this is what is going on right now with the cancel culture and stuff. A lot of people are saying that the woke culture, the black life might. Oh, thank you so much, Tana Soli. Thank you for salute, bro. Thank you. Um, and uh, we should do something together. The A lot of people right now are also saying that the problem with the progressive left and woke culture is that if you don't agree with them on anything then you are you are the enemy they believe that silence is not an option they believe that whatever they feel you have to feel the same thing and there's no space for i agree with this this but that no you have to agree with everything if not, you are the enemy, you canceled. And we don't like jokes. And we don't like this and we don't like that. And in 10 days, we change. Now we like this. Oh, you like that? Ah, oh, cancel. And those might also be seen as the enemy or they might be people who are losing allies. So in France, uh, I, I see problematic people from both sides. And from every side, actually, I see a lot of problematic in the 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 BLM. I see a lot of problematic people in the in the feminists. I see a lot of problematic people, of course, in the far right, in the far left as well, uh, and in, in the yeah, every person that is religious about what they believe to me is problematic. I believe that you can really believe what you want and you can be wrong but uh when you're wrong we have to give you the space and the possibility to grow and learn and come back to what we believe is the truth right because it's what we believe is our point of view and same thing when somebody says i don't like this or i don't like that you cannot just, you have to ask yourself where they come from and be able to have a conversation with them. It doesn't mean that you're going to make them see the lights, but you might. Sometimes people are just ignorant and we live in times where in social media, and, and politics and media in general are just always like creating more of this. We live in a time where uh, most people, when they disagree, they just hate each other. Uh, I, I believe that when I disagree with people, I have conversations with them. Like one of my very, very good friends, like 25 years, right? Uh, we completely disagree on politics. Completely. But we have great conversations. We have great conversations about, you know, the things we agree, the things we don't agree with. And sometimes I'm like, yeah, this is right. And sometimes he's like, oh, on, on that part, I agree with you. And sometimes we come a month after and we both change positions because life is something that always moves like and opinions are they move listen i don't know what i was saying 10 years ago on twitter i don't remember and i don't care 
So if you if you go now find some old tweets or maybe some old jokes that I did, they were funny back then and they're not funny today. And people want to cancel me or whatever, I'll tell them. Uh, but that was 10 years ago. Now you said that. Say so say you're sorry. I'm not. That was 10 years ago. And at that time, yeah, listen. And actually, I think I still think it's funny. Or maybe not. It depends. It's, it's me. It's not about what you guys feel. It's about the truth and me. And if I know deep in me that whatever I said was not offensive and was not, it was not meant to harm people, you cannot force me to believe that it, was, it is harmful. Oh, because of this, people die. Shut the fuck up. Like, I have some, I know some people who were um, skinheads at a point. People that I went to school with, they went from hip hop and whatever traumatic happened in their life and they they went completely far right. And, and back then I was into rap and stuff and one day we met and he was there and we sat down. And yo, what happened to you, bro? Ah, this and that, and did, 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 it's not about you, you know. Da, 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 da. We grew up together. Said, yeah, but I mean, <laughs> some of the things you say, yeah, but because of this, 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 and this, this, this. I say, yeah, okay, but conversation. And then after that, yo, bro, good to see you. Yo, good to see you too, bro. And uh, well, you know, go to your uh, Nazi stuff, and I'm going my way. And uh, ten years after, met him again, and he came back. And he was back in the middle and yeah he was he was like oh you know i was going through things and whatever whatever and and yeah then i had kids and then yeah and i'm less extreme and we never know where people come from i guess so it doesn't mean that you have to to excuse everything but you know 